Welcome, and thank you for joining us today. I'm Jane Brill, the Executive Director of the Plymouth Intergenerational, of Generations, Intergenerational Center in Plymouth. Um, Generations not only focuses on intergenerational programming, but we're also a wellness center for all ages, um, all to try to build a healthier and a better community. So I'm absolutely thrilled to be hosting the program today. Um, today's program is gonna be about technology to advance healthy communities. We're going to be introducing the VibeSit Pro mobile device and the Rocky Knoll Fall Reduction Study. This collaboration between you two, um, it occurred, you know, we're going to talk about it in our discussion, but it's so important to have collaboration within our community because as a community and an organization, the more that we work together, you know, we're just going to keep advancing how wonderful and having a positive impact on those who live here and their overall quality of life. So my personal experience with the VibeTech um, device is after a health incident, I used it to increase my range of motion, to increase my strength, um, to improve my balance, and it was amazing. In fact, um, you know, as preparing for this show, to get the article or the bulletin from AARP, the May um, 2022 one, actually showed that and they cited a study, for every one point increase in muscle strength, a person's risk of Alzheimer's dropped by 43%. That's really incredible. So I'm really excited to hear what both of you have to say today. So what I'm gonna do is have you introduce yourselves um, and then talk a little bit about your history and working together and the different roles that you have in that. Janine, you wanna go first? So my name is Janine Bowles, and I'm the Life Enrichment Director at Rocky Knoll. And thank you for having me here this morning, representing Rocky Knoll. I'm pleased to be here. I've been working at, there since 2017, and that's when I first met Jeff and got involved with the, at that time, we were doing the Vibe Tech Study 1 at that time. A um, little bit about the history. At that time, when I started Deb Jacoby, was the director of life enrichment, so I worked under her, and she continues to work with VibeSit at this time, so that's wonderful. Um, along with the role that we provide at Rocky Knoll, we worked with the leadership, nursing leadership team, and at that time we identified residents that would benefit from this program. Um, our next step, we obtained consents from those, either the participants or the representatives, and we launched the new study just this last May with the VibeSit Pro. And currently we have 20 residents involved in this study, and we meet with them two times a week. It's, it's very exciting to have uh, you know, the opportunity to be here, to be collaborating with Rocky Knoll, um, it's been such a wonderful relationship. Uh, so I'm Jeff Lismer, founder and CEO of VibeTech. Um, so VibeTech started uh, quite a few years ago with me coming up with an idea to help astronauts fight bone loss during long duration space flight. And I found a signal that I could apply through a device into the body to get the muscles to contract without effort. And when I found that that worked, I said, let me start a company and make this technology available to everybody who has barriers to physical activity, who might not be able to work out on their own. And we ended up uh, in 2016 uh, getting a VibeTech 1 device to Rocky Knoll and where we did that first study. And it was just incredible watching some of the residents, the way that they improved. Um, you know, we um, saw people be able to stand and walk again for the mm -hmm. first time. And that was just such a motivation. And being able to see all of those results, seeing kind of some of the mood of residents pick up, not just when they themselves were benefiting, but when they'd see others benefiting. So that's one of the other little you know, bonuses is that not only are we doing something directly for an individual's health when they're using the device, but the whole group of individuals that gets to interact with them, um, there's kind of a secondary uh, benefit to them as well. So uh, that's, that's definitely fun and exciting. But uh, yeah, we're uh, with the new VibeSet Pro device. Um, that was something that we created to 
overcome some of the challenges that we saw with the first device. So even though the first device is robotic, it you know, allows for somebody to do leg presses while there's therapeutic vibration applied through the foot plate that they're pushing on that gets the muscles to contract without effort. Plus, they have the voluntary control to be able to push and exert themselves. Now, they had to be transferred, if they were a wheelchair user, to get into the chair because it had a chair right on the device. And it swiveled to make it easier, but it was a challenge. Mm -hmm. And trying to make sure that we could increase accessibility to this technology, uh, we worked with Rocky Knoll, uh, we worked with another local partner um, um, to um, be able to help finance the operations to get things um, developed for the Vibeset Pro. But we wanted a mobile device that could be taken to the resident to meet them where they're at, whether it's in their room or you know, in whichever location that was easiest to provide that treatment to them. So that's what we are now doing, is being able to meet them where they're at. And, yeah, and it's, that's it's great. fantastic. I mean, you know, you can see that impact. You can see the progression of how your, you know, the Vibetech Pro has improved, mm -hmm. you know, in the renditions throughout the years. So that's amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Great. So in the last two years, you know, there's been quite a bit of chaos um, and, you know, challenges. And I'm sure you faced, you know, Jeff, possibly for supplier issues, Janine for COVID restrictions. How did everything work between you two for that? Yeah, so with the, the production, uh, definitely that did slow down getting things um, moving. Um, you know, we ran into the same supply chain issues that the automotive industry had, um, that same chip that all of the tens of thousands of cars were sitting waiting for everything else complete except for having this chip, those chips were just not available and we use some of those same chips in our device. So trying to come up with the workarounds um, to be able to make things happen when you don't have all of those parts and you know, we were able to overcome that issue um, but still the labor shortages in manufacturing um, let alone in healthcare. Right. But uh, just the timing, it's, it's been very difficult throughout COVID to be able to actually get things produced quickly. And so it's a, it's a different world. You have to plan things way in advance and be very patient. Um, but yeah, we've come through it now. We have our new device and it's uh, kind of nice to have Rocky Knoll as the first to get one of these new right. devices. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, that's a, that's a great opportunity, especially since they helped with the design of the product and the input going into developing it. And with the Vibeset 1, of course, we had challenges with it not being as mobile as the new device that we have. Um, with that, we had quarantines, units quarantined, so we couldn't cross over residents from different units, so that caused a challenge as well. So that's kind of the things that we were seeing. Yep. And now, so with being able to move the device around, so that's helped free up, free up right. the ability to treat few more patients. So now we can bring it cr just directly up to the unit for those residents or like Jeff said into their rooms and and do the study continue the study so that works really well. Great yeah that's a tremendous benefit. So Janine will people in the community be able to access the Vibe um, Tech Sick Pro I mean come in and use that or so we are currently working on that um, we do have to look at COVID restrictions and bringing um, people from the community into our facility, but we are currently working on that, and we look forward to being able to do that in the future. Okay, great. And Jeff, any sort of, you know, with Vibetech and this great technology that's coming out there, and as you're trying to grow your company, what type of investment opportunities are possibly out there? Yeah, I mean, we're um, looking to really grow, and, um, you know, we want to make our technology accessible to everybody who needs it across the globe. Um, right now, we're starting in our own community um, and working on community partnerships, um, looking at you know, how do we fund the uh, development of devices to be able to place into some of the nonprofit facilities. Um, we're also looking at, uh, you know, with the new device now available, 
um, doing sales, but we're also working on um, other investment opportunities as well if, um, if anybody is interested. Um, and so they're free to contact me and uh, they can reach me at uh, Jeff, J-E-F-F, at vibetechglobal.com. That's V-I-B-E-T-E-C-H-G-L-O-B-A-L.com. <laughs> and, uh, or they can uh, give me a call or send me a text at 920-395-5339 and to learn more about what opportunities there might be. But uh, yeah, we definitely um, do need more financial support to be able to grow and expand and scale up to make this technology available to everybody in need. Um, but I love that we have what we have going right here in Sheboygan uh, with this partnership to be able to really um, you know, build and develop um, and nurture our whole program. Uh, because to us, it's not about just producing a product and then dropping it off. It's how do we um, entice the use of the product to make sure that everybody at a facility or an individual at home um, is able to make the most of it because we really are providing the benefits of exercise and we can do so even if the person is unable to stand and walk and do things on their own. Um, so it's a very unique capability that we bring to the table with this new device. Yeah, I know we'd love to help you out at Generations yeah. and any opportunity that we have I would because love to get you know you. we have people of all abilities and you know it would be great to have that in our facility. So um, before we wrap up for the day, any sort of additional thoughts or things that you'd like to share with our viewers? So um, just talking about our initial study, you know, our, that started with working with dementia residents. We, I don't think we mentioned that. And with falls. So um, with someone that has a memory deficit, they don't always recall that they can't walk or they don't have the abilities that they had in the past. So that was our focus, to strengthen those residents so that if they tried to get up, that they at least had that strength in those muscles that would retain them and keep them up. And that's the one thing that we really did see. And as residents, um, they also need that self-confidence uh, that they can do it. So as they use the vibe sit, and that was the first study that we did, as they used that, they, they felt more confident in their abilities. We saw a resident that was in the wheelchair all the time, was able to, with assists, use the walker, and then eventually use the walker. And he was a great spokesman for Rocky Knoll and the mm -hmm. Vibe Set One. So that was wonderful in that seeing those residents feel a change within themselves. That same resident, the first time he came off of the Vibe Set, he said, I feel lighter. And that's what a lot of the people that use it say. They just, their muscles feel like feathers and, and lighter. So it was great to be involved in that study and it's great to be in it now. The residents are really enjoying the ability to go on the pro, being able to use it when, whenever they wish, you know, coming down and eventually hoping that we can have it, that they can do it independently, yeah. you know, so it's just been a great process. Good, yeah, and falls can be so detrimental mm -hmm. um, to a person's health and quality of life, so that's why this is even so important. I mean, this is why this is so important, yeah. right? I mean, right. to yeah. decrease Absolutely. that chance. Well, and with falls being the leading cause of accidental injury and death in older adults, I mean, it's a serious, serious issue. and. You know, the barriers to physical activity. You know, you've got pain, you've got lack of uh, you know, range of motion, you've got a lack of strength, a lack of desire to exert oneself. Um, and this can overcome all of those barriers in order to get them to be able to work out. So, um, you know, talking about the resident who was able to start walking independently, you know, he became our poster child. He did. Mm -hmm. um, so we actually presented at the American um, Congress of Rehabilitation Medicine and uh, did a nice four foot tall by eight foot wide poster. So uh, nice. yeah, it blew him up uh, real nicely. But uh, yeah, that 45% reduction in that initial study um, in falls over the mm -hmm. three months was absolutely incredible. And so some of the other things that we measured um, that we were able to see were a 20% gain in strength just from a 10 minute session. And that's why people's legs felt light as feathers, is that the muscles that normally are active and working that tell you, oh, I've exhausted myself, 
those ones don't have to do all of the work anymore. You've right. got other muscles now coming into the mix that supplement that, and so it can offload those major muscle groups and gives them that sense of feeling a bit lighter. Um, but even the pain relief, uh, we just did another study that I just submitted an, an abstract again to the ACRM looking at neuropathy symptom reduction. Um, in the study, we had a 41% reduction in neuropathy symptoms that lasted for days after the session. And this was from each and every session, so that was very incredible. But now we're looking to take all of what we've done and learned and put that into a package that lets people know about you know, the safety and efficacy of what we're doing. And on the safety side, I'm actually working to introduce worldwide standards um, through an international standards board that I sit on, um, which will be the first standards for the field of therapeutic vibration. So what we're doing here in Sheboygan is important to what's going on all across the globe. And I'm really excited to be able to take this forward and you know, make it into something that becomes a mainstay that everybody has access to. That's great. So as we're talking about this, we've got a video um, mm -hmm. that we can show that will actually show our viewers how the VibeTech um, Pro, the mobile device works. So we'll cue that up. Great. Thank you. The VibeSit Pro is a really versatile instrument to be able to help people regain the strength and mobility that they need to function much more independently in life. The following exercises can be really helpful. Leg presses, mini leg pumps, it's a little bit easier to do. And even just holding your legs straight will let the forces push through your body and get a little more advanced to target specific muscle groups or sites in your lower extremities. Even getting in a nice hamstring stretch can feel really good. You can even add arm exercises to the mix that engage the entire body. To push, it will actually articulate your legs, moving them back and forth. And if you want, you can actually, um, I love using this from a wheelchair um, because it's, it can tip back a little bit. Mm -hmm. And if you hold your legs right, you can actually turn that wheelchair into an automatic rocking chair. And uh, so let the device just push you back and forth with those vibrations contracting your muscles. Um, but it's, yeah, it's kind of fun to just explore with this. But uh, just the versatility of it's pretty incredible, though, to be able to engage all of the lower extremity muscles. Or if somebody's flexible enough, they can actually push with their arms. And if they have a short shoulder or um, you know, any other issues with their arms, this can actually help them there as well. Wow, yeah. great. I can't wait, you know, to, I love using it, so <laughs> I could actually probably use another treatment. But before we, um, you know, finish up, let's talk about, or let's give people again, how, they, how can they contact you? Jeff, you already said it, but you could go ahead and do it again. Let me do that And again. then Janine, how um, can people contact you at Rocky Knoll? Mm -hmm. Yep. So, uh, okay. yep. so again, um, so you can reach me directly uh, by email at jeff at vibetechglobal.com. Um, or if you'd like to schedule a demo, um, you can reach us at demo at vibetechglobal.com. Um, or um, reach out to me by phone or text at 920-395-5339. And if you want to contact Rocky Knoll um, regarding long-term or short-term healthcare services, we would have you contact Claire Richards. She is the Rocky Knoll Admissions Coordinator, and her phone number is 920-946-4840, or you can email her at crichards at rockyknoll.net. And if you want information about Vibe Tech Program, you can contact myself at 920-449-1243 or jbowles at rockyknoll.net. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you both. And thank you to our, our viewers for tuning in. If you'd like to contact me to learn a little bit more about Generations Intergenerational Center, 
what with the programs that we offer, services or membership, you can reach out to me at 920-892-4858 or info at generationsic.org or visit our website at generationsic.org. So thank you again to our viewing audience for being with us today as we discuss the use of technology in one of our favorite healthcare settings. And take good care and stay healthy, Sheboygan. Thank you.